Fountain Baptist Church in Summit, New Jersey raised a million dollars in 18 months to initiate this breakthrough ministry. As one minister put it, We could hear their cry. We could feel their pain. Fountain's pastor, the Reverend Dr. J. Michael Sanders, is a former president of Lot Carey and understood the need for quick action and a new era of collaboration. The Fountain Baptist Church is a very responsive church and when you challenge them to generate a million dollars to invest in helping people rise again after Hurricanes Katrina and Rita, how did they respond when you first uh, set that ambitious goal for the Fountain Baptist Church? Overall the church was very supportive of it and was willing to uh, get on board uh, and I think one thing that helped me to be moved to make the commitment is because of the response we got soon after the hurricane hit and we took up a special offering and people responded and at that time we got like over a hundred thousand dollars and then it just showed me that our people were willing you know to give and that if we had the opportunity and a reason that they would respond and when I presented it to the church overwhelmingly uh, the membership responded to it and I think by the fact that we were able to raise it in such a quick period says that the people were very much supportive of it. But I also think what helped too is the people believed in like care. They saw the need but they also believed in the vehicle. And it's been a blessing to me just again to see how the like care family is so supportive and willing to meet the needs of others and respond in a time of crisis. unprecedented alliance now exists to ensure that the funds raised by Fountain Baptist reach people in need and support projects that will foster economic and spiritual growth in the area. Lot Carey administered the Fountain gift and partners in the region implemented the programs. Fountain is already paying dividends through a variety of innovative projects. Food, clothing, counseling, and housing for thousands in affected areas educational scholarships and job skills for evacuees, and consultation with pastors and grants to churches that are helping their congregation cope with the aftershocks of the disaster. The Fountain Project continues to nourish families, churches, and communities, providing holistic approaches to hurricane recovery and one of the most exciting aspects is set to bear fruit. On April 17, 2010, hundreds of believers from around the nation gathered in Colfax, Louisiana to dedicate the Fountain Pines Baptist Camp, a 25-acre campus about 175 miles north of the Gulf. The site has gone from ruin to renewal under the spirited guidance of the Reverend Samuel C. Talbert, Jr., President of the Louisiana Home and Foreign Missions Baptist State Convention and Pastor of Greater St. Mary Missionary Baptist Church in Lake Charles, Louisiana. What has really helped us uh, to get to where we are today is the energy and the interest and the investment of volunteers. We probably had over 300 volunteers here doing uh, work on this camp over the last couple of years to get us to where we are today. We still have a ways to go, but at least we're here today for the dedication. The tabernacle is ready, and uh, we're looking forward to a great dedication ceremony. The compound will host a variety of activities and programs for adults and youth, from retreats to training to special programs, and includes dormitories, bathhouses, office space, and a house for a resident manager. And in case of other hurricanes, the site will be used as a staging area for response, recovery, and escape. Of course, I'm excited about the camp because I'm here in Louisiana. You come in from D.C., how do you feel about your know, first impression of seeing it today? Well, this is an exciting uh, event to be a part of. I think some of the excitement for me is uh, when we were working together on the pastor's consultation, 
uh, we were trying to talk about what are ways of working together in the aftermath of, yes. of Katrina yes. uh, and how we could be imaginative and to think that, that churches would collaborate uh, to be able to see that this is an opportunity for working uh, with people to come for retreat, for refreshment, for training, that's exciting. And then the other thing that's exciting is to be able to have a facility that can be a staging place and a command center yes. for post-disaster, because yes. others are going to come, and now to be pre-positioned, I think that's a really exciting opportunity for us. The dedication celebration was a chorus of praise, and thanksgiving. We are the downtrodden whom the Lord picked up. We are the weak whom the Almighty empowered. We are the untouchables whom the Lord laid his hands on. I don't know how you feel about it, but I ought to say thank you. Somebody needs to give God the glory Somebody should lift up hold their hands and cry out hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We can rejoice and be the hand.